All right, guys. Well, today I decided to go ahead and pull the Leonardo out and show you guys how I do a grid self tune. So basically, what that is is just like with Ferraris or Maseratis is when you do a self learn uh, on the gearbox. Uh, so basically, times where you want to do a grid self tune would be like let's say if you have a e, if you have an e gear system in your car and let's say it wants to jump out of gear and go into neutral uh, or you got some jerky shifts um, or anything of that nature where you know it's just not quite shifting right and most people that own the cars and drive them on a regular basis can tell and anytime there's they can tell when something's wrong you know it's not quite right um, so yeah you want to do uh, a grid self tune on any kind of uh, problems like that when they arise uh, on the gearbox or anytime you're replacing the clutch you want to do a grid self tune uh, then you can come back and do you know adjust your PIS uh, your point of initial slip and all that good stuff after that um, and also if you take the gearbox out or put it back in uh, that's a good time to to do a grid self tune also so first thing we're going to do I got the Leonardo fired up uh, we have the Bluetooth module it's already in the car you can see the cars right here um, it's and then you got to check the voltage on the Bluetooth module. You, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll with the Leonardo. I always say that 12.5 volts. Uh, and then also we have a battery charger is hooked to the battery and it's boosting the battery right now. Uh, then also I have my little setup here. Um, I just got this cart from Eastwood right here and it's really nice. I needed something. Usually I'm either sitting on the ground or um, I got this thing sitting in my lap or something like that. So I just got this to kind of be more organized. Uh, so yeah, this thing was pretty good. Um, so yeah, I have this on my cart here. And then what I do is instead of uh, plugging the Leonardo in the wall, I have it hooked to my uh, power station right here. Uh, that's on is powering uh, this Leonardo up and it's charging it, it, charging it up at the same time. Um, as you know, I live in Florida here and Florida is like the lightning capital uh of the united states i believe and if it isn't it it sure is pretty close because we have a lot of lightning here uh at certain times of the year uh so the last thing i want to do is have this plugged in a wall and have some kind of either a lightning strike because uh, lightning can actually strike and it, there can't even be clouds around it can strike from far away believe it or not um and then also any kind of voltage spikes uh, into wherever i'm plugging in at you know i don't want to take a chance on that because uh, if this is hooked up to a vehicle, I mean, it could be hooked up to a car worth four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars. I mean, you, I'm not saying I have, but if if you have it hooked up to a very expensive vehicle, uh, that's the last thing you want to have is have this uh, computer get fried and it could possibly corrupt the software in the vehicle. So that is the last thing you want to happen. Um, so anyway, what you're going to uh, what you're going to do now is uh, once we have all these set up. Uh, also, too, just for safety, uh, I have a plaque, uh, like a little card that I put in, and I hook it to the steering wheel, and basically lets whoever getting in the car to drive it that the charger is hooked up to the front. So I always put that in there for safety so you won't drive off with the charger, okay? Uh, so anyway, here we go. We got the, the Leonardo fired up, and we're already connected to the Gallardo already. Of course, we have various Lamborghinis in here, Huracans, Aventadors, and stuff. So we're into the Gallardo FP560. Um, and then what we want to do is here's all your systems right here. And then anything that's overflow is going to be over here. Um, it won't show uh, basically anything that has to do with like uh, the engine ECUs because you need to go into a different diagnostic terminal. Um, I'll tell you what, let me show you that real quick. So let me get in here. I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's get over to Lamborghini here. We'll jump into Gallardo here. So basically what you got here is you have a OBD2 port on the driver's side. And of course, you can see the pedals there in the picture. Uh, but what some people don't know is there's a diagnostic terminal. Let me see if I can get this down here. Okay. Uh, you'll see this is under the glove box. There's your, your fuse panel there. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can get this picture up here. But there's your glove box and the terminal 
is right there. It's under the gearbox. I mean, not the gearbox, but the, it's under the glove box. Uh, on this side here, it's under the that panel that uh, covers the floorboard right there. Uh, you want to remove that panel. And also, if you remove that panel, be, be careful because the corner of it is it's 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 aluminum and it's very sharp over there, and it'll cut into the leather. Uh, the center console on this side right here so just be careful when you pull that out i don't know why they didn't put a rubber trim or something over that metal to keep from cutting it but anyway just be careful when you take that out uh, let me scroll down here let me show you what this looks like all right all right okay here we go so there's your diagnostic terminal there's your you can see the floor mat and stuff there uh, and then what will happen it'll have a plug on top you see that plug and then it'll have like a diode that's on the top right there that's when you know you got the right one, okay? I don't, I don't think there should be any other ones there, but that's definitely the one you want to be into, okay? So what you're going to do is remove that uh, that plug right there uh, to access the diagnostic terminal. And then what happened, the Leonardo is going to have these different uh, cords that you just find the right one to uh, plug into there. And then it'll you can hook it up to your, uh, uh, to your Bluetooth module. And then what it's basically going to do is uh, let you access the engine ECU. So I'm sure there's a lot of different parameters which you can uh, uh, make some adjustments to there. Um, I'm, I'm, there's probably going to so many that I want to be able to name them off. But uh, I haven't done that yet with this car. So you know what? I'll probably do that in the future. I get some time. We'll uh, maybe try to connect in through that terminal over there. And we'll see if we can access the engine ECUs. But so far, I haven't done it with this, uh, this tool yet. Uh, even though I've had it for like over a year and something now, I still haven't had a chance to really get in there and dig into that those engine needs to use. All right, so let's go back to the main page here. Let's close this out. Okay, all right, so we're back. Okay, we're in our car. LP 560. So what we want to do is we want to access the gearbox. All right, let's wait for, see if we can get connected. Okay, we're we're connected. All right, first thing we want to do is you want to read some errors. Let's see if there's any errors in the gearbox, okay? So if there is, we want to either get those fixed. Uh, if the, I mean, if there is any errors, you really need to get those fixed first. And once you get those, you can clear them out, and then we can proceed from there. So there's no errors, okay? So now what we want to do is go to Adaptations and Coding. All right, and this is a warning. Just be careful, permanent vehicle malfunction. All right, we know that. Okay. All right, and there's that clutch where I made a video on that before. Um, yeah. So if you haven't seen it, go check that out. It wasn't the best video, but yeah, I thought about redoing it again, but yeah, we'll just let it go. Uh, let me see here. So here's that. Here's the grid self-tuning. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit that button, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit another button over here. Then we're going to go through like a warning and then we'll say okay and then it should start up and then basically what's going to do is the gearbox is going to start proceeding with the uh, the grid self tune okay so you'll hear it shift the gearbox shifting and then uh it's uh recalibrating uh and uh the gearbox and then also uh, you'll notice on the shift indicator uh on the dashboard it'll be uh, moving around too okay so I'll tell you what, let me see if I can start this up and I'll run over real quick and I'll show you what's going on and then we'll come back when we get done here. So let's go ahead and hit this grid self tune. Okay. Uh, this is what I told you before. Anytime you're replacing the clutch or removing the gearbox, you really need to do this, okay? Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit start. Okay. And it's asking, you sure you wanna do this? And we're going to say yes. Okay. There we go. And there it goes. So let me run it real quick here. So you'll hear the gearbox. There it goes. You can hear the system priming, building up pressure, and then you hear it shifting gears. Okay. Okay, let's run inside real quick and you'll see the
Okay, there it is. All right, it's done. All right, let's head on over here. All right, nothing to it, right? Okay, see so what we got here. All right, it said it was done correctly, so we hit OK. Exit from the car, diagnosis, and turn the key off for one minute. So, uh, okay, we're going to exit. Procedure completed. All right, let's go ahead and get out of this. Okay. Okay, we're out of the ECU. So let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and get that key. We'll turn it off, and I'll come right back. All right, got the key out. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. So now what you need to do is you need to go test drive it and then make sure everything's performing correctly. Uh, there's times where I've done other cars and we had to go back in and do it again. So um, that's just the way it is. And then the second time turned out better. Um, and then also some vehicles, you know, I had a you know, 360, uh, I had a Murcielago. Uh, you do the self, self learn on the Ferrari and then the grid self tune on the Lambo. And then uh, guess what? It won't start up. Uh, after you're done so uh, I mean I know that but the owners don't know that and it's kind of funny sometimes you know uh, we'll do uh, just like I did the Mercy Lago uh, not too long ago and uh, I knew it was going to do it and then uh, once we were finished you know turn the key off and everything then I told him to go ahead and start it up and make sure it goes into gear and it wouldn't start so I'll sit back and I was just waiting for him to say something he was sitting in the car uh, probably over a minute, minute and a half, and he wasn't saying nothing. I could see him trying, you know, and I was just sitting there waiting, and I said, um, it won't start, right? He goes, uh, no, it won't start. I said, okay, just go disconnect the battery and reconnect it, and then it'll start. Uh, so that's what you have to do. So he did that, and it started up, and I kind of laughed a little bit because uh, I could see his face. He was kind of like, uh, 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 uh. So, uh, same thing with the Ferrari too. We did it and the same thing happened to the 360. It, uh, it wouldn't start. So just, uh, if that's the case, um, then what you do is just disconnect the battery, hook it back up and then fire it right up and it's good to go. Okay. Uh, like I said, when I did the, the Ferrari not too long ago, um, you know, we had to actually do it twice. So we did it one time, drove it around, um, and then it wouldn't, uh, the first time we did it and then it wouldn't start right so he shut it off and he said can we do it again so I said yeah let's go ahead and do it again so uh, we went ahead and did the, the self-learn again and then um, we took it out for a drive and he was just he says and you know if you have a car and you drive it on a regular basis you get to know the ins and outs of that car so you know how it shifts and he was telling me he goes oh my god he goes this thing shifts so much better it's so much crisper and faster so, uh, so yeah, sometimes a, a self-learn uh, or a grid self-tune on a Lambo uh, can actually make a difference, okay? And I've seen it where it doesn't make a difference, so it just depends. But anyway, that's a real quick video on uh, how I do the grid self-tune on Lamborghini LP560. Uh, like I said, when I get more time, I'll come back and we'll make some more videos with the Leonardo. All right, guys, be safe out there. Have a good day. Bye.